Welcome to another enjoying a watercolor lesson. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this sailboat with the masking techniques for the water. This month is our fifth anniversary for enjoying our community. I have another personal good news to share with you. The National Watercolor Society just awarded me the signature membership. Thank you very much for such an honor. This channel is all about learning how to draw and paint with relaxation. If this is the first time to our channel, please subscribe and turn on notification. If you're already a member, now you can go to Enjoying Our Learning Community to watch the full version of this video. So first I'm going to do a little rough drawing to figure out the placement of the main object. I want to put it here, so I'm going to put this right here, like that. And if I want, I can move it a little bit higher, a triangle, and then divide it in the middle, horizontal line, all the way coming over here. Now I'm going to use masking fluid to prepare the painting. I'm going to put this white paper, Put it right here, tape it to the table. Here's go. I'm going to use my two brush to apply the masking fluid. The two brush dip into the masking fluid. Now I'm going to wait until it dries before I come back to start the watercolor painting. This is my first time trying this brush. This is very soft. It's the same kind of hair uh, from this calligraphy brush. Okay, I'm going to start by using the green shade blue color. It looks like it should have a little bit yellow. I'm going to take a look at, get a little yellow color. That's pretty good. The brush is very, very soft. Maybe a little red. It looks a little bit too bright. Okay. I don't mind to make the skies a little bit darker. That will be fine. And I don't really need to wet the sky before I apply the color. So I'm going to take a little bit more water. Now, here you go. Start from the top because the boat is darker than the sky. So I'm going to just paint over the entire boat. Be a little careful, maybe on the top, somewhere over here. I'm not going to paint it too much in. I'm going to leave a little bit more white. This brush is very good, create very even. Uh, now I'm going to paint the water. I'm going to get a little bit more blue color. Add to some red color, make it feel a little bit darker. This is good. I'm going to paint from the bottom coming up. And I'm going to have some dry brushes just on one side of the brush. Here you go. I can have some dry brush. Very good. Also over here, see a little gap, a little white gap. Okay, now I'm going to let it dry. Now I'm going to use the calligraphy brush, apply a little texture for the impression of the wave at the front here. Now I'm going to take a little bit, maybe a little red shade blue color with a little red and have a little green shade colored as well. Doesn't have to be make it really, really dark. But it just need to be dark enough to be visible. Okay, that's good. And have some very small shape like that. Just put the brush a little bit lower so you can see. And the bolt end a little bit thinner. Now I'm going to wait a few minutes before I come back to remove the masking fluid. So I'm going to start painting into the main object. Now the paper already dry, now I'm going to come in to carefully remove all the masking fluid.
Now this is good. We are going to come in to start painting the sails. First, take care of the bigger shape before we're going in to take care of the small lines. Now take a look at the this piece have a little bit brown color. So I'm going to take the yellow color with the red and have a little bit more yellow. Like this. This is good. And because the background already have some blue color, so I don't have to add too much blue. So instead, I have a little bit more like an orange color. And I'm going to take a look. I'm going to add a little bit water. Uh, that's good. Now I'll take a look tap over here to see how it looks. This is good. I'm going to add a little bit water. Make it a little bit lighter. That's good. I'm going to start from the top. That's good. Now I'm going to looking at the next piece. I have a little bit more blue. And I'm going to take just the blue color over here. I'm going to take a look how it looks like. It may be near the red color. I'm going to take a look over here. It's just pretty good. I'm going to have a little bit red. Here you go. Now here you go. Have a little gap on the top over here. And that's the shape over here. So you don't have to draw too much details at the beginning. You can decide in this step. Here you go. Now coming on this side. We're going to paint the shape of the boat. And this press a little bit red with the blue color. Okay, I don't really need that much paint. Okay, start over here. And here you go. Like this. Let's take a look at the front over here. You got some reflection. Small shape. Look like some people standing up. And here you go. Like that. So I'm going to keep going over the same direction. Okay. Pressure down, a little bit smaller, all the way to here. From here coming up, all the way here. Okay, that's good. A little bit blue. Okay, from here all the way coming up over here. So you see this brush can hold enough of pins. And then you can do all different kind of tricks. Okay, that's good. And the bottom over here, I think it's a little bit darker. So I'm going to have a little blue color and just put it down like this. You can see that the color. Now the area and the boat already drives. I'm going to mix a little bit darker color. I want it to be a little bit darker and I don't need lots of lots of paint. I'm going to paint around a little light shape on the edge of the boat. Okay, like this, coming down the way here and coming all the way to the front like that have a little bit darker shape on this side now you can see some variety of contents one line like that you have a little bit shape over here like that a little bit soft so I move it a little bit From here all the way here. So it's going to be one continuous. And the line over here. Okay, also some line in the sail. Okay. Interesting. You can see those lines here too. Glaze a little bit darker color and first take a look at 
on this side I'm gonna have a little bit red like that a little bit red start from the top over here and you can take a look at the edge over here it can be a little bit richer okay now here you go now I'm gonna let go some paint and then coming over here so you make it look like a little bit translucent so I can actually lift up a little color so make this the middle look a little bit translucent and on the other side I'm gonna add just a little blue color at the bottom over here okay that's good coming up like that also create a feeling of translucent because fabric and also on the other side at the bottom over here also a little bit darker like that and this looks very good at the reflection I'm going to put a few dots so they are suggesting there is some reflection from the uh, boat I'm going to put a few dots over here okay that's good That's a little bit darker color. Okay. Okay. I will see you in our next video.